fellow beauty lovers. I am Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. I want to let you guys know that I post a new video here at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every Friday morning and it's usually something beauty related or an unboxing or something I love or in this case um, a helpful video and just a little story about a product so that you guys don't have to relive what one of my coworkers relived. And I hope that you guys find this helpful if you are at all interested in this product. Um, but before we dive into that, please like this video, give it a thumbs up if this is helpful and you wanna see more videos like this and let me know in the comment section below and definitely subscribe. I would love to have you here. So, okay, today we are gonna talk about the Kerastase Chroma Absolute line, okay? Um, I am a huge Kerastase lover. So I'm just gonna put that out there. I love Kerastase. I have nothing bad to say about their products. They are a luxury high-end beautiful line. I love them. However, I just am gonna explain a little bit about what happened with this product and why you need to proceed with caution before using it. If you guys see, there is a green olive green box down here. That is because this product is this color. All right, I'm gonna get into it. Uh, all right, we carry Kerastase where I work and we all love Kerastase and we all have color treated hair and most of our clients do as well. And it's nice to have options. We have multiple lines and Kerastase is like a safe go-to luxury, beautiful line that treats the hair so well. Um, so they have come out with a new product that is a green based toning product for brunettes who feel that their hair is turning red. Now I'm a colorist. I do not like my color clients to go home and use self toning products on their hair unless it's something I recommend or I don't know. I mean, I almost always tell them do not tone your hair at home. Like if you feel like your hair needs to be toned, if you feel like it's yellow um, or getting brassy, please come in for a gloss. Let me mix your toner. Let me formulate it for you since I'm the colorist. Okay. Now using a purple shampoo at home, I will recommend to some of my clients, a lot of my blonde clients whose hair starts to turn yellow. Um, depending on the brand of the purple shampoo, I will let them know how frequently to use it and how often they should be using it and leaving it in their hair and so on. Because a purple shampoo is a treatment shampoo. Uh, if your hair is toned properly and it looks good when you leave the salon, you shouldn't really need to use a purple shampoo immediately because your hair is already toned. I find myself that I use a purple shampoo when I'm kind of stretching my color or about four weeks after getting my color done, I start using it once or twice a week as needed. I definitely do not use purple shampoo daily. So, all right, we had Kerastase, which was so nice, come in and leave us a bunch of samples um, for us, and I'm assuming for our, us to give out to our clients of their color shampoo and conditioner and mask. So the girls at the desk gave me a couple samples to use at home. I was so excited. I like to have sample sizes um, just on hand for when I'm traveling. It just makes it so much easier. So they did this with a few other people that I work with. One of the girls that I work with decided that she was going to use the mask. Now, this is the mask. This is what it looks like. This is a retail product, meaning if you go to a Kerastase um, salon that retails Kerastase, you can buy this yourself over the counter. All right, now this is a very, very strong, very pigmented green mask. This is for what they say, dark brunette perfecting anti-red undertone mask for sensitized or damaged color treated hair. Hydrates color correcting formula neutralizes unwanted red undertones on all types of color treated dark hair to reveal a cooler neutralized color result and soft silky hair. Apply to shampooed and towel dried hair. Leave on for a maximum of five minutes depending on the desired level of neutralization. Rinse thoroughly. Okay. 
I am a colorist. I have said this so many times. I'm sorry for repeating myself, but brown hair should have warmth in it. It should have gold. It should have red. That is what brown is. So I'm assuming that this product is made for somebody who is like a level four or darker, which is very, very dark brown to black. Now I have a few clients whose hair is that dark, a few, and I never hear them complaining that their hair is getting red. It's more the medium browns that say if their hair is starting to look a little like goldeny that they feel like all of a sudden they're a redhead. All right, this would not be for those clients. This is for a level four or darker, and it is for a brunette who does not have any pre-lightened hair, meaning any highlights. Even if I've had clients be like, oh, I don't have any highlights, and like from here down, they're a brunette. This is all like light, and it's like because these are highlights from a year ago. If your hair grows six inches a year, like this is still highlighted. Even if you haven't had them for a year, if you haven't had them for two years, this hair is old, this hair is porous. It does still have bleach in it likely. Therefore, if you're gonna use something strong and pigmented like this on this hair to tone out red, it is likely going to grab and deposit green. So the mistake here that I wanna fill you guys in about is we had a bunch of samples, so you know we're taking samples home. We did not have a rep come in and explain this product to us. So one of my coworkers decided, oh, I'm gonna do a self-care day and I'm just gonna do a mask. Now she has dark hair that is lightened blonde, bleached blonde, meaning she's probably around my color or a little bit lighter. And obviously she can attest to this too. She was not really thinking, but she was taking a shower and she squirted the mask, which was green, into her hands and put it in her blonde hair. Now, Kerastas is very clear to say, do not put this on pre-lightened hair and do not use this on blonde hair. However, if you're just like going through the motions, like, oh, they dropped off samples, whatever, I'm gonna use it. You think it's probably safe for everyone since there was no warning about the pigment and the strength of this pigment. That is where the danger lies. I do not think if you're a brunette and you think your hair is red that you should be using this product without consulting with your hairdresser and your colorist. This is a very specific niche client who would need to use this. And I am kind of disappointed that Kerastas is even formulating something this strong um, for clients to be toning their own hair at home. I just don't think it's necessary. Like violet shampoos come across like dark purple in your hands, but violet neutralizes yellow, which means it doesn't have the pigment strength to stain the hair purple unless the hair is totally compromised and fried. Um, this is like, I just wanna show you guys, it's so dark. It's so dark, it's like crazy. Like I can't even think of any of my own clients and I have a full book who I would even recommend this product for. So if you're a brunette and you're looking and you're thinking you might wanna use this, please don't. Please ask your colorist if you should be using this first. We are all kind of wanna do things ourselves and just kind of, um, you know, self-diagnose. And it's just, it's some things you shouldn't self-diagnose. Some things are meant for your colorist to do for you. And that is just my own two cents. I'm gonna put the picture up here of my coworker. Poor thing, her hair turned like green and she rinsed it out immediately and it was horrible and it took like multiple Malibu CPR treatments to get it out and bleach washes and everything and it was a nightmare honestly yes she should have known better not to use this product however there was no warning and can you just imagine if you're at like a friend's house and this is just in the shower and you're showering and you're gonna like use this in your hair I was just like I'm, I'm just like shocked that Kerastas would retail something this strong with this much color for at home use. I just think there is a place for toning and it is in your colorist chair. And that is just something I had to share because this is just a warning. Please use this with caution. Please make sure you are the desired client for this product. Brown hair should have warm tones and not all browns should be neutralized. 
and it's supposed to be pretty rich and chocolatey and please just talk to your colorist first if you have any highlights in your hair from at all even if it's from two years ago do not use this um please see your colorist for toning and that is just my little words of advice regarding this product and you know vert is green and french and this is the french line and just i wish this was like bigger and more obvious that this was like a green based product um you know i am one of the people who had to help my poor friend and i just felt so badly for her and you know like i said she knows she shouldn't have used it she wasn't really thinking um and i think and she's a hairdresser so i can just imagine some of the mistakes that would happen for people buying this product so i just wanted to make sure everyone knows just be careful. Um, and like I said, I love Kerastase. This is not to bash Kerastase at all. I love their products. Um, so I just wanted to share this little story with you guys and I'm not going to link it below. I don't recommend anyone be toning their hair at home without consulting with their colorist. So I'll put a little bit of in the description box, but, um, talk to your colorist and I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will see you guys over on Instagram. My name is Amanda J. May and I'm also on Like to Know It. My name is Amanda May and I will see you guys here next Friday. Have a wonderful weekend.